Hello everyone. Welcome to the fourth part of the video. In this video, you are going to talk about a very short topic, though it is very important to understand that. As you can see here, the movement of the car is a little fast, or you can say it's going beyond the control. Okay, so it has to be, you know, in a in a fixed frame per second or a frame rate. So for that controlling the time or the frame, there is a module called Pygame dot time. So we have to talk about that. So let's start coding. So this module, the Pygame dot time module, the time module is basically important or responsible for monitoring the time. And in order to track the time or the frame, there is a method inside this module called dot clock. So we have to create an object for this method called Pygame dot time dot clock. Let's just say that object name will be clock only. Okay. So now we have created an object to track the time. Okay. Now we have to deal with the frame or the frame frame rate. You can say. So in order to do that, there is a method called dot tick. Sorry, uh, there is a method called tick, which accepts the argument in terms of milliseconds. So th this millisecond is nothing but the frame rate. Okay, so that frame rate second frame rate has to be given in terms of number. So, so what exactly this tick method? Let's just say clock dot tick method two. Basically, when we want to slow down some functionality in the game, here we have to slow down the movement of the car. Okay, in terms of frame or in terms of movement or in terms of you can say. Uh, frame per second. So this tick method is very responsive, very useful method for using that. So we can give some random, uh, not a random, but it's an. It's I have tried and tested many times and then came up with this number. Okay, and this can vary in your system because there is a function it's called SDL underscore delay function, which is not accurate on every platform. So okay, if you want to go further detail in that, yeah, I will give the Pygame documentation link or the videos which, which where I have learned this Pygame dot time module. But uh, for now, let's just put this line into the game loop where the game is running. Okay. We can place anywhere, but I prefer the moment we updated the screen there only we can put it. It doesn't matter if you place view before this line or after this line, but it's my preference to put this line into after the update method. So two things. First, whenever you want to slow down some functionality in the game, here we have slowing down the speed of the car. This talk tick method is required. And also, whenever you're giving look this hundred millisecond, so this program will never, never ever run at more than hundred frames per second. You have to remember that. And also, this method should be called once per frame. That's it. So let's just save it and try to run the code. Okay, yeah. Now you can see the movement of the car. It will vary. So that's it. If you have any confusion related with this topic, please drop a comment or feel free to ask any question in that. For for your better understanding, I will giving the all the useful links from where I have learned this Pygame dot time module. Till then, keep coding, keep learning. Thank you once again, and we'll see you in the next video.